Words. They are the building block of any piece of writing. Without grabbing a thesaurus, is just take a second to pause this video and draw three columns on a piece of note paper. And you're looking for interesting ways of saying, or other words for, the words excellent, average, and terrible. So how many other ways of saying excellent can you think of? How many other ways of saying terrible can you think of? And how many ways of saying average can you think of? Just take a second to write down as many as you can for each column, please. Just two or three minutes. Okay, now just very quickly count them up for me, please. I'll have a quick go at it while you're doing that. Now, the first thing to improving your vocabulary doesn't involve learning new words. It's just about your mindset. Writing is an interesting thing because you're going to be forced to do it all of the time at school, but the best writing you do will be the writing that you want to do. And it's easier to write about something you feel strongly about. I'm going to prove it to you. Count up the columns. I bet you've got more words in either excellent or terrible than you do in average. I bet you do. Because there are more words that mean amazing and fantastic, or totally appalling, than there are for just okay. So it is much easier to think of really amazing and interesting words when you're writing about something that's amazing and interesting or something that's really appalling. So first of all, whatever question you're set in the exam, I know this is really difficult, but whatever question it is, try and imagine you care about it. Either really strongly for it or really strongly against it. Because that automatically makes your writing easier. It also makes your writing more interesting. Let me prove it to you. Um, let's take the words that we've got in the satisfactory column. Let's imagine that I'm telling you that we're all going to go on holiday. All of the people on YouTube and all the people in my classes, we're going to go on a massive holiday and we're going to go somewhere incredible. We're going to go on a trip. And I'm selling it to you. Let's imagine I say, hey guys, we're going to go on holiday to an average hotel. We'll go to a satisfactory resort where the food is adequate. It doesn't sound particularly exciting. It doesn't sound somewhere that you want to go. However, if I said to you, we're going to go on an amazing holiday to an exquisite resort where the food will be delectable, it sounds much more exciting and much more interesting. So as far as words are concerned, try and care one way or the other because you'll find your vocabulary is much easier to work with if you have a stronger emotional feeling about what you're writing about, even if you have to fake it.